Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here. Uh, I wanted to do something for you guys. Um, this has come to my attention uh, via question. Uh, and it was an in-person question. It was uh, someone's just asking me. Uh, and I had to really think about it, the best way to describe them to it to them. And I think I've talked about it before, but uh, the way I uh, told it to them, was this had to do with um, the kilohertz. Uh, when recording, uh, considering there's so many different, uh, you can go uh, all the way up to, God, what can you go all the way up to? I think it's like uh, 192 kilohertz or something like that on most uh, programs, especially uh, Audacity. And they were wondering, uh, you know, uh, why don't you just record everything at the highest um, uh, kilohertz? Which... Was was an interesting question. It was, I mean, it was a good question. Um, I mean, most of the time I record it, as you can see down here, at 44.1 uh, kilohertz. And that's what I record and uh, export most of my audio in. Um, and it's just, it's the cleanest and, you know, uh, sound at the smallest size, basically. Um, kilohertz, as far as audio goes, are basically like the pixels of a camera. You know, the more pixels, uh, the the bigger and clearer the image is going to be. Same thing with audio. The more kilohertz gives you the more detail in your audio, uh, the smoother the sound, basically. Um, and what I did is I, actually, I was recording this for a client, um, and I actually took all these and I exported them into a whole bunch of different um, uh, kilohertz um, sizes, basically. Uh, same same file, uh, same audio, but all at different um, sizes. Uh, we have uh, basically 11 kilohertz, and then we have 22 kilohertz, 32 kilohertz, 44.1 kilohertz, 48 kilohertz, 88.2, 96, 960, and then we have uh, 192 uh, kilohertz. Um, and it's exactly the same uh, audio file, and then I um, just brought them in here. And I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the lowest that I was able to export. It's 11 kilohertz. This is literally like, this is ground zero of audio. This is bare bone. And they're all at the same bit rate, so this is, uh, is going to be awful. But I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. Oh, God, that sounded dreadful. <laughs> Now, uh, you could hear that it sounded uh, very muddy, it was very flat, uh, and there was a lot of noise because it was compressed so much um, that basically it just uh, compressed and generated noise. Uh, so that is, you should never, ever even use that audio unless you're like trying to make like something sound like the radio, which it basically did. And here we go. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. Vastly better, uh, it's, it, considering it's double double the kilohertz, but it's still, there's not a lot of detail, it's not very smooth, it was very sharp, very sharp sound. Uh, a lot of the noise is gone, which is good, but still not usable at all. Here we go for 32. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. Now for the most part, that's actually usable. Um... I mean, it's still really sharp, and there's still not a lot of detail. It's not smooth enough, I think. Um, but if you if you had something that that's all it could record at, um, that's like, I guess that's audition-worthy, maybe? Maybe if you do a really good performance. But this is where I consider bottom is. This is where you should start. This is... I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. Not as sharp, a lot smoother, way more detail, um, you know, and it it runs smooth. Uh, it can pl play easily on any device. If they were to listen to it on their phone, it plays smooth. Uh, it's a small file. You can record uh, an hour um, at that uh, kilohertz, and it's not really going to be that big of a file, so it'd be perfectly fine. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. This one's just only slightly smoother. Um, this uh, uh, 48 kilohertz, it's really what um, cameras 
uh, their audio is set at. So if you were trying to match the audio to, like, say, um, a DSLR, that's probably the audio that you would record it at, and you could sync it, and it would be it would be less likely that you'd get any kind of um, noise or sound hiccups or anything. It would it would uh, match up really smooth. But if you're not doing that, just do forty four point one. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. Way smoother, very very large, um, very large uh, file. It's like twice as big as the other one, so it sounds. Sounds way better. Also, you're getting a lot more of the bass in that one. The last two. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. That one sounds as if basically the exact same as if I'm talking right now. I may have to rejectify this hypothesis. For the most part, um, it could just be my earphones or um, the volume that I have it at, but I can't really tell the difference between these last three. After after it gets past, you know, uh, 44.1, they start to really sound the same. Um, and then really it's just the size of the file for the most part. Uh, but I did want to show you something real quick um, to kind of further um, explain what kilohertz are. We're going to zoom in. We're going to go all the way up here first, though. Zoom in. All right. As you can see, you can start to see um, the difference between them. All right, see these little dots? That's basically, um, you know, uh, the it's basically the um, the range of the the audio file. It, this is how much detail there is in it. And so, as you can see, the one beneath it is twice as good, so it has double the um, the definition. And then it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Do you get down to here? And it looks really smooth. It's very smooth. It's a very nice transition. You go up here, you get just sharp lines. And that's why the audio sounded really sharp. As opposed to this one. So. To rejectify this hypothesis. To rejectify this hypothesis. So, uh, there you go. That is an explanation as to kilohertz. Um, my personal preference, uh, if you're really much doing anything, I haven't, I've only, I think only a few times have I ever had a client that's requested more than 44.1. Um, uh, but if they do, uh, Audacity is perfectly capable of doing, uh, as you can see, even down to, oh God, 8,000, why? And, and higher. But I, I did just these ones because I thought that these were like the best example uh, of the audio. But you can do more, but it really just depends on um, how much RAM your computer has and whether or not um, you know your mic even complements that high of quality, basically. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to li like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll catch you later. Peace.